How you doing? This is Adam from developphp.com here once again, and we're continuing with part three of our little lesson series on programming custom forums into your social network or community websites we're using PHP and MySQL. In this part of the series, we're going to make PHP template regions and put any CSS used into an external CSS style sheet. And beyond that, we're going to create a page called section.php, which is going to be within your forum. And we're going to code it to grab the URL variable to display that particular section's threads, or all the posts that are in that section. And here we go. Okay, so this is what I have. This is pretty much where we left off in the last section. The only thing is that I doctored up the way my links are output on the forum homepage. So I made each one have a little image in front of the link. I made the text bigger and I put a horizontal rule, an HR tag, in between each link. And I also threw some links up in that top div where I told you you can put any kind of HTML data you want. And I gave it a little footer div to hold my copyright. So what I'm going to do is take that footer div and put that into a page template region called footer template or template footer. And I'm also going to take this whole header and put that into a page template region called template header. And it's going to be within the forums directory. That way when I make section.php and viewthread.php or whatever other pages we make for the forum system, we can just include the header and the template footer files. We won't have to make changes in multiple pages. It'll just be easier for website management down the road. So here I am in design view of index.php. I'm going to go to code view. I'm going to take all this CSS styling here. Control X. And then I can remove that whole style tag as well. And I'm going to go to file, new, CSS. Just remove whatever they put there by default. And now any images that are referred to in the style folder you got to make sure you remove that dot dot forward slash that jump up one directory. You don't want that happening. So if you have any images in there, just make them refer directly in the style sheet where the image is. Now file save as. Make sure you save this file into your forum style folder. And let's just name this style. Save. And now it's called style.css. I can close that file and back in index.php to make sure all my styling still occurs in index.php, I just have to put the style sheet linkage. And we'll put it right underneath the that meta tag there. There's the style sheet linkage. It's going into the style folder, picking up style.css. So all the style that was in this page will still render out to this page, but using that external style sheet. You guys know how it works. So that's the CSS. Now let's get the header out. So let's highlight this whole, if I can get it highlighted, there we go, there and up. So let's get here and everything right where the body tag starts. Control X. Go to PHP and hit the PHP code block tag. And right here you're going to include, include underscore once in between parentheses, semicolon. So in between the parentheses, you just type in the file you want to include. So let's call this template header.php. So all we have to do is make that file now. So we'll go to File, New, PHP, get rid of all that, and add the code that we took out. That was the div and all of that other stuff right there. Now let's go to File, save this as in the main directory of the forum template underscore header and it'll be a dot php extension already so you just press save now if you look at it there's your header and it's being magically inserted into the index page and into the sections page and into any other pages that you're gonna have within this forum directory let's do the same thing with the footer now let's just grab that code right here is the footer so let's move that down one line put this in template footer so what you can do is just grab that div that would be your template footer control X let's get rid of those break tags we don't need them and go to template header into the code view replace it with that footer code and then just be sure to file save as template footer 
before you save that template header file. So now you see you have template footer with the proper HTML data inside of it. And you also have the template header that still has the proper data inside of it that makes up the header. So now you're putting in the header and the footer dynamically into the index page. Now let's create this section.php that we're going to need to render out every post or thread that's in that particular section. Okay, here I am online viewing it live after I've created the CSS style sheet and my template regions and everything looks exactly the same as it did before, but now I have things regioned out and sectioned out a little bit smarter than it was before. So now when I expand to make new pages within my forum, everything will be easier to manage down the line. All right, let's continue. Okay, now let's take index.php. Now that it has region templates and the CSS is set up smarter in it, we're going to take that file and save it as section. So it'll be section.php. We're going to change up the PHP a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to leave the include to the connection file there. But I'm going to write in some PHP notes or PHP comments to myself. And those comments will describe what we should be doing in this file. Okay, so this is what we're going to do in this script. First, we connect to the database. Then we're going to put in some code right here to get the section ID from the URL variable coming in. Then after we get that, we're going to query the database for that section, for that section ID, make sure it exists, and get the section title. If it doesn't exist, we're going to make sure we plan for that, because we don't want somebody putting in some section ID that doesn't even exist in our database because then no data will display on the page. I'll show you how to accommodate for that. And then the last little bit is to use the section ID to query a forum posts table in the database to get all the threads for this section. Now forum posts is a database table that we have not even created yet. All we've created is the forum sections table. So before we do any scripting here, let's go ahead back into PHP my admin and create that table. And that table is going to hold all the various posts that people make into all the various sections. All right, here I am inside the database for Web Intersect. I'm going to create a new table on that database called Forum Posts, and I'm going to put 12 fields into it. Press go. Now this is the most important table of the system because this one's going to hold all of the forum posts, whether they be the initial post that starts a topic or a thread, or whether they be replies to that topic. Every one of them is going to go in here. And I'll show you how to handle having different types of posts in this one table. Okay, so this one is going to be named ID. That's going to be the regular old ID field that's always first in most any table. Next is going to be post author. This is going to be post author ID. So this is the member who posted. This is the member's ID. Now we're going to put OTID, which is short for original topic ID. And I'll tell you I'll show you exactly where that comes in handy. Now let's put one called date time. Date underscore time. Another field called type. That'll determine what type of post it is. View count. The next one section title. The next one section ID the next one thread title the next one is post body and the final one is closed and I'll try my best to explain why we're inserting all of these fields right after we set the type and the length of values so this first one is ID int this one has to be primary and make sure you select that auto increment checkbox post author this is going to be var char I guess 24 however many is the length that you have the maximum character count on your usernames post author ID this is going to be int 11 original topic ID is also going to be int 11 date time is going to be guess what date time and we're going to give that a default value as defined and put it in right here you see what the default value is it's just an empty time and date configuration the year, the month, the day, and then the time. <clears throat> but it's all zeros. So that's how you're going to default all of those. But right when somebody posts in, it wouldn't it wouldn't have that value. It'll have their actual time that they posted in. Type is going to be enum. And we're going to have A and B. So we'll put in 
single quote A, single quote, comma, single quote B, single quote. So the type is going to be either A or B, whatever post type this is. I'll explain that in a moment. The view count is going to be int 11. Int 11 means that you can have an integer with 11 characters. And that's pretty dang high. You don't really need it that high, but just you can set it that high without worries. Section title, this is going to be varchar88. I think we made in the other table, the max was 88 for that one. So let's make it 88 for the section title in this one. Section ID can be int 11. Thread title is going to be varchar... I'll allow them to put in 64 characters into the into the form that I create for posting. Whoever's making a topic or a new thread, they'll have the option of making the title and putting in the body for whatever they want to ask. So that title will be here, and I'll do a max of 64 of our char. The post body, this you want to make text. And that'll give it, uh, I think, 10,000 character max. And if you wanted more than 10,000 character max, you can go to, where is it? Long text and medium text. Long text and medium text are a lot bigger than regular text. Tiny text, I think, is 255. I'm not sure. Text is, I think, 10,000 characters. Medium text is a whole lot more than that. And long text is a whole lot more than medium text. But I'm just going to use text to allow 10,000 characters in my post body. A max of 10,000. I don't want people going crazy. 10,000 is a lot of characters. And closed is going to be enum as well. And that's just going to be the good old. And you put enum, you set your enum values to whatever you want to toggle between. So this field will let me toggle between 0 for closed being false and 1 for closed being true. So I'll know whether this thread has been closed by the person who started the thread or not by whether they toggle this to 1 or 0 or whatever. They'll all be default set by to 0. So actually we can put a default on that as defined 0. That way it's not closed by default. But if the person who started the thread wants to close it, they can toggle that to 1 and we'll have to make mechanisms to allow them to do that. Now the post body, that's going to be the message body when they post in the forums. Thread title is going to be the person who starts a thread, they'll be able to title the thread. People who are replying to that thread will not have the option to create a new title. And the forums will just have the letters R, E, colon, and then the title. Whenever they're replying, it'll just say R, E, and then the original title. Now section ID is going to hold whatever the section ID is. Remember we made the forum sections table? and each section has an ID. We're going to snatch that up. We're going to snatch up the section title, the words that are actually the section title. The view count, this is going to be a number that will increment each time the topic is viewed by somebody. And you can code it to where if it's viewed by anybody it would toggle the view counter or only if it's viewed by people who didn't start the thread it would toggle the view counter. Or if you want to make it to where if it's only viewed by people who aren't participating and talking within the thread, you can make it toggle the view counter. So if you know that people are in the thread, they're going to be visiting it a lot, and you don't want to toggle those numbers for the view count, you can, you can program it that way. That's just a little hint. I'm going to program it to toggle the view count anytime anybody looks at it. Maybe except the guy that started the thread. Who knows? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now the type, this is going to be a very important field. And this one, type is going to be A when it's somebody who's starting a new thread. So their post is going to have a, a type value of A. Somebody who's replying to a topic starter, they're going to have a post of B. So their type will be set to a value of B. That way we'll know it's a reply type post. If it's an A, we'll know it's a the start of a new thread. Date time, that's pretty obvious. That's just going to record the date and the time down to the second when the person posted, whether it be a new thread or a response. Original topic ID or original thread ID 
is another important field and that's going to record say if somebody starts a new thread it'll be type A and it'll have a certain ID within this table a unique ID so when somebody re responds with B in that original thread ID field we want to make sure we put that original thread don't worry I'll show you how that works when we make a few posts now the post author ID is pretty self-explanatory that's going to be the ID the member ID the unique member ID of the person who is making the post whether it be a new thread or a response post author is going to be the member or the username for that person and ID is going to be the unique ID for the post in the forum post database table alright so I think that's all set up the way we need it I explained it pretty in depth let's go down here to save and there we have it so now my forum all it needs now is for me to query this section and at first there's nothing in my table no posts yet so if I query this sections posts out of the table I won't find any in there it'll definitely say there are no posts in this section yet and that's just fine that's what we want but then we also want to take it a step further by on this section.php page we want to make sure we put in a button that says create a new topic or create a new thread within this section that way we can press that button and go into a form and the form will post into that new table we just made for whatever section that we're navigating in in the forum I'll just change this for now to say forum section in a little while when we do some querying on the database we can get the exact name and title of the forum to use dynamically in the title there we'll put php echo let's just put the word title so it'll echo the word title there but in a moment when we do some querying on the database we'll get the exact sections title I will be able to put it right there dynamically you could also put description and keyword meta tags okay display list we can remove that let's take a look at it alright this page is ready to rock and roll so all we gotta do is bust a query out to get this sections information and we'll pick that up in part four because I don't want this video to get too long we'll keep all the videos chopped up kinda even if we can but creating that table was a bulky part of the process and it's probably the most important storage table that you'll need for your forum system and if there's anything else that we have to go in and add to it or take away from it we'll do that later we can remain flexible with it if there's anything throughout the series that I think I might want to add to that table I'll just pop it right in and we can utilize it okay so I'll see you in part four